Hi, I'm Andrew Plank with Pemberton Homes, and today I'm going to show you a great tool for researching properties. It's called the CRD Atlas. It's a mapping tool, and uh, I'm going to show you first how to get there. And what you're going to be able to do with it is, is be able to get a sense of property lines on a property. You're going to get a sense of the flow of the property in terms of we can pull up contour lines to show you whether it's a steep slope or um, low elevation or high elevation, such, such like that. Of course, we've got aerial images. They're high quality, so we can see where a property is situated, home is situated on a property. Again, whether it's a corner property, what's uh, around it, and so forth. So how you get there is just pull up the CRD website. It's crd.bc.ca. Quick Google of CRD. CRD is the natural, is the, um, Capital Regional, Regional District website. So we have 13 municipalities. You're going to go to that website and click on the Maps button, which will pull up a general image of map of the Greater Victoria area. Very easy to use. You can just zoom in and out using the plus and minus buttons. Use your mouse clicker to move around. Again, very easy to use. If you have a wheel on your mouse, you can just zoom in using the wheel. And as you zoom in, you're going to get more and more detail. Okay, and if you want to find a particular property, you can add, uh, put it right in here into the search address. That's easy to use. And over here, we just have a splash screen. We can hide this, or we can open it up again. And what we want to do, actually, is with it open up, is click on this little Layers option, and that will change the tab over to Layers. Now we've got a whole bunch of different layers we can either toggle on or off. And what we want to do here for example, is toggle on here the contours layer if you want to get a sense of contours. You're going to see what the layout of the land is here. Now that can take some extra time to load and unload, so you may not want to do that until you're actually zoomed into the degree that you want to see. Now another useful one, very often useful one, is of course the imagery uh, field. So you can click on this toggle to add the layer of imagery, and now we can zoom in and see any particular property. Again, you may want to zoom in first before you do this because it takes some extra bandwidth to load. But we can zoom in and we can see, for example, a property and, and then we can note where it's laid out generally on the property lines, what the property lines actually tend to be. Now these are general property lines, this is not a survey, but we're going to get a really good sense of how the property sits, how the home sits on the property. Is it too far back? Is it forward? Is it really near the neighbor? Is there an industrial site right next door? We can zoom out and have a look. So this is very, very useful stuff. So really easy to use. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how to use it. You can get a little bit more screen time here by just toggling this open and closed. It's fairly intuitive, so I encourage you just to search around. There's certainly a lot of other elements you can add, looking for planning and trails information, environmental information. All that's easily, easily added or subtracted just by toggling them on or off. And lastly, there's this I want to option. And again, you can do a lot of what you're already doing just by that there. And then there's a tools option over here if you want to print. Okay. There's also this identify option. So let's say we want to identify a particular property. It will give us some basic results, including uh, the property identifier, some of the legal description, and so forth. may not be that useful to you, but kind of cool to find. It also, again, highlights the property. So then when you go to print it, you're going to have the print. Okay, so just use that if you want to find information about properties. I hope it's been useful to you. Thanks very much. For more information about anything buying or selling real estate in Victoria, check out www.andrewplank.com.